Have you ever been stuck trying to pull the exact piece of information you need from a giant Excel table? Maybe you tried VLOOKUP, but it breaks the second you move columns around. Or worse, it gives you the wrong result without warning. Well, there's a better way. It's called the index match. And once you learn it, you'll never go back. So in this video, I'll break it down in three clear steps for you. First, what index match actually does in plain English. And then I'll walk you through three real world examples, beginner, intermediate, and pro level. And if you stick around to the very end, I'll show you a bonus pro trick that is super handy. All right, so let's break this combo down. Index returns a value from a table based on the row and column numbers. Think of it like coordinates. Row three, column two, Excel grabs that exact cell. Match tells you the position of a value in a list. If banana is the second item, match returns two. And when you combine them, you unlock a super flexible lookup. Here's the basic structure. Index is our return range and match is our lookup value with our lookup range and zero returns an exact match. Translation, return this value from the column where this row matches my search. Super easy. All right, let's start with something fun, fast food menus. Here's the problem. You've got two inputs, a restaurant, Wendy's, and a menu item, Frosty, and you want Excel to return the price automatically. So let's go ahead and hop in Excel real quick and take a look at our example. So as mentioned, our input is gonna be restaurant, menu item, and price. Our values are Wendy's, Frosty's, and we wanna return the price from our data set here. So in cell C5, we're gonna press equals index, press tab to lock it in, and this is where we wanna return our answer. So we're looking in price, we'll go ahead and press F4 to lock that selection, then we'll press comma, and then we'll do our match function. Our lookup value is going to be frosty, F4 to lock that. Our lookup array is gonna be in this column C9 to 24 right here, we'll lock it. And for match type, we have three different options. We can do less than, exact match, or greater than. For this case, we're gonna do a zero to lock in an exact match, and then we're gonna do a double parenthesis to close it out, and we see our menu price is 269, which we see in our data set matches. Super easy. So forget VLOOKUP. This is a very easy dynamic search function within Excel where you don't have to worry about which column you have to go searching in to find your answer. So now that we took a look at an example of a very simple index match, let's step it up with a two-way lookup. One of the biggest advantages of the index match formula. So let's imagine you got a table showing how long different EVs take to reach charging times. But now let's say you wanna know how long does it take for a Kia EV6 to charge this many miles? Well, let's go ahead and take a look in our Excel. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna press equals index, and then we're gonna select this full array up here because this contains all of the charging times. We're gonna go ahead and press F4 to lock that in, and then we're gonna press comma, and then we're gonna match and our first lookup value will be this Chevy Bolt. And we're not gonna lock that in because we're gonna pull this down. So we want this to be um, movable. And then we're gonna press comma. And our lookup array is gonna be a list of our vehicles up here. We are gonna lock that with F4. So that way that information stays static. And then we're gonna press comma. And then we're gonna say we want an exact match. So we'll press zero. And then we'll close that out. We'll press comma again. And then we'll do another match. And this time, our lookup value is going to be miles since last charge. And we'll press comma. Our lookup array will be miles per charging time. We'll go ahead and lock that in with F4. We'll press comma again. In this scenario, we're gonna round down. So we're gonna press one to find the value less than our miles since the last charge. And this will return the first value that is less than our total miles since last charge. So we'll press equals. And then we see we have two hours for our Chevy Bolt EUV. And then if we go up to our toy table, we see that at 120 minutes for our vehicle, it's a two hour charge time, which we see returns right here. We're gonna go ahead and drop that low and then we see all of our values are there. Let's go ahead and press F2 to take a look at it. Everything stays the same and we return all of our values. So in this example, the first match finds the row, which in our first example would be the Chevy Bolt EUV. And the second match finds the column, 
which would be the miles. An index returns the exact intersection. So with this, the index match, you're not limited to one direction. You can grab any intersection in our table and the rows and columns together. Our third and final example is gonna be one that is used in business all the time. So let's go ahead and imagine a bonus structure, right? We have anything under $1,000 in sales as a 0% bonus, 1,000 to 5,000 is a 5% bonus, and 5,000 to 10,000 is a 10% bonus, and anything over $10,000 is a 15% bonus. You want Excel to automatically return the right bonus percentage based on a salesperson's sales. And let's go ahead and take a look in Excel. All right, so we're gonna do another index match. We're gonna press equals index, and then we're gonna turn our bonus percentage, and we're gonna press F4 to lock that in, and then we're gonna match our lookup value, which is gonna be our sales here in C4. We're not gonna lock that, and our lookup array is gonna be over here on our sales threshold. We'll press F4 to lock that in, and then we'll go ahead and select our match type, and then we're gonna want less than, and then we're gonna put a double parenthesis in to go ahead and close that out. And then once that's locked in, we'll press Enter. Let's go ahead and change this over to percentage. And then we see for Avery, who has $6,200 in sales, their bonus was 10%. Let's go ahead and send that down. Jordan was under a thousand dollars, so it's a zero percent bonus. Taylor was thirteen thousand four hundred and fifty, so they get a fifteen percent bonus. So the number one in the match means find the largest value less than or equal to what is in column G. So if a salesperson did six thousand two hundred in sales, match locks on to that five thousand dollar tier, and index would return that ten percent bonus. So the key takeaway here is that the pro level index match can handle approximate matches. It's perfect for tax brackets, grading scales, or tiered pricing. That's something that VLOOKUP often fails at, and professionals rely on index match to get it right. All right, so for our bonus example, we're gonna use index match with a little twist to find the top performer. So let's go ahead and take a look in Excel real quick. All right, so I already typed out everything for the index match. We've already seen a couple of examples, so I think we are pretty confident on that. But tell me, can you notice what's different right away? If you guess this max, you are correct. So what we're doing is we're indexing everything in C, right? Cause that's our representative list. And that's what we're gonna want returned to us as a top performer, the name of the person who sells is the highest. We're gonna match that to whoever the max performer was. So we're looking for the highest value. And then we're gonna match that against the full sales category. So essentially we're telling Excel, we want the highest value from this category and return that value to us. So let's go ahead and press enter. And we see that Morgan West was the highest performing individual. Let's go ahead and put a conditional formatting on this real quick and highlighting the top number one person with conditional formatting. We see that that ties out. It is Morgan West with $19,800 in sales. And now you might be saying, Kyle, well, I could just throw a filter on C, D, and E, and I can just filter off the highest values. You can, absolutely, and that's 100% correct, and that is a great way to go about this as well. But I just wanted to highlight a different way to search out the values that we want without shifting all the cells on a filter. So with that said, index match isn't just for lookups. It can, be, it can pull the closest match, the max, or even the top performers, and that to me is a game changer. So let's go ahead and do a quick recap. In our beginner example, index match is a safer replacement for VLOOKUP, in our intermediate example, it handles two-way lookups across rows and columns. In our pro example, it powers approximate matches for real-world scenarios like bonuses or even grading. And in our bonus example, we can leverage index match to pull out specific values from a data set, which is super handy. And with that said, that's index match from beginner to pro with a little bonus trick thrown in as well. Once you learn this combo, you'll notice you've stopped relying on VLOOKUP altogether. Why? Because index match is flexible, dynamic, and future-proof. So if this helped you out, do me a favor, hit that like button. It tells YouTube this video is worth sharing. Also drop a comment down below. Which example was the biggest aha moment for you? Beginner, intermediate, pro, or the bonus trick? And don't forget to subscribe because I've got more Excel tutorials coming up that'll level your spreadsheet game. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.